Business is continuing to grow across the nation, and Rochester is no exception. Last summer, Rochester police responded to homeless encampments on city grounds posing problems. Now the city has adopted an ordinance that will ban camping on city property. Even so, city leaders are divided on this issue. Our Olivia Pronzinski is tracking this developing story for us. Olivia, for starters, Councilmember Kelly Kirkpatrick voted nay on this ordinance. What has she said? Caitlin, Councilmember Kelly Kirkpatrick says she appreciates the efforts by Rochester Police and the Parks Department, but says she has some of the language in the ordinance that wants to be removed and doesn't just target the unhoused. We get calls of serious concern from families in this community. After Rochester City Council approved a new ordinance banning camping on city property, some are still not pleased and say a better solution is needed. We are trying to balance the needs of those that are refusing care and treatment and housing and children and families who have a right to use our parks. Council member Kelly Kirkpatrick was one of the three to vote nay. Her reasoning, the ordinance does not allow enough of a notice and bans camping in vehicles. No, we don't want to accept trashing our, our environment. No, we don't want to accept rampant illegal drug use. No, we don't want to accept endangering of others. Most people just want a place to stay, a place of their own. And if that's a six by six tent, they are incredibly happy with that because they have peace. It's a conversation that strikes a chord with Kirkpatrick. I had to live in my vehicle with my son for a brief period of time and without my old rusty and trusty minivan, I would not have had a safe space. The ordinance is a band-aid approach, according to Tim Haskamp at overnight shelter Dorothy Dayhouse. It's painful. It just slaps you in the face. Haskamp has worked closely with the unsheltered for years. He says he doesn't disagree with the ordinance, but it does speak to the negative aspects of homelessness. And I'm not sure that it's the correct way to go. I respect the police. They're great with us and they need to do something, but I think it goes beyond that. And I think that's what the city council really failed to address. If someone refuses services and beds are available, they could face jail time or fines, which could pose more barriers. The ordinance would be in effect from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And currently there are two overnight shelters in Rochester, which hit capacity very often. The council will give an official first reading of the ordinance at the end of the month. Live in the studio, Olivia Pronzinski, KTC.